excited about their team that's actually starting off pretty hot today. Uh, not today, <laughs> this year. Well, I guess also today in the NBA season. And I'm just going to see what I can do to possibly make them better, maybe worse. <laughs> Try to win LeBron, maybe a championship or two. I'm super excited about that. So if you guys want more NBA 2K, I guess, content, let me know by dropping a like on this video, giving this video some love. Obviously, the most love that gets on this video, the more love that's on here, I'll definitely do another one. Which reminds me, I would actually really love to do a Victor Wembanyama San Antonio Spurs rebuild. Man, that'd be a lot of fun. Again, if this video gets a lot of love, we, we can definitely do another one of these uh, sometime very soon. So, we have a, a, a Chris Paul wants a farewell tour. Looks like Chris Paul's going to retire at the end of this year. That's actually kind of sad. <laughs> um, anyway, so we're going to be taking on the LA Lakers and just see what we can do to improve the team. Now, I think I did a 2K rebuild of the Lakers last year, and I think we failed. I don't think we even won a championship, which is pretty bad. I'm going to give me two years to try to get LeBron one last title here in LA. We have here just the classic Laker lineup that is here right now, currently in the current NBA. I'm definitely not giving Jackson Hayes any minutes, but we'll keep that for now. But um, let's see. Oh my god, adult, wow, okay, so Bronny's a 69, adult to connect is a 71 overall, now, if you've been watching how adult to connect has been playing, he is not a 71 overall, so that's already my big, big reason why this is going to be a really tough rebuild, but it's not really a rebuild, it's a redoing, and we have to think some ideas, of some ideas to get this team to where I really want it to be. So, obviously that's going to involve some trading. Now, I think if I can remember, the Lakers have two first-round picks available to be traded. And they do have some big-time contracts that can be used with those picks. Now, those picks are actually pretty valuable because, of course, without LeBron, Anthony Davis in the future as well, this team is going to be in a rough condition. So those draft picks are going to be very, very valuable. Those are going to be high, possibly plus, plus top 10 picks, plus top 5. Could be a number one overall pick, who even knows, but... These picks are going to be extremely valuable in the future, and who knows, maybe a team that doesn't really have a good future or a team that even wants a better future will jump at the opportunity while sacrificing some short-term success, like last time we tried Zach Levine from the Chicago Bulls, getting him over here. That didn't really work. Donovan Mitchell just signed a big contract with Cleveland. You know, honestly, Kawhi Leonard would make a lot of sense there. He's kind of on the same timeline as AD. Uh, wow. Honestly, with MA2K, with it having no injuries, that would be very interesting. But you guys get the idea. We're going to be trying to find trades to really, you know, help boost this roster. But before then, kind of like how the Lakers are in real life doing it, I'm going to see what we got. I just want to see what we have, the talent that we have, and just maybe take it to the midway point of the NBA uh, season and just see what we have to play with. Now I really hope that um, things go pretty well here because if we really start to struggle I'm going to have to start jumping into trades a little bit sooner rather than later and I'm also going to try to make some sort of realistic trades. If I do make one, you guys will see eventually. Hopefully we don't need to come to that though. Alright, we are near the halfway point of the NBA year, and honestly, in my opinion, pretty realistic. We have, uh, oh, I'm not taking that trade, uh, we have the trade deadline, where I'm going to stop simulating right now and take a look at these standings here. We are currently in 6th place, which honestly isn't too crazy. Now the Clippers and Warriors being up here as well is kind of wild. Again, this is a no-injury, sort of a 2K simulated season, so I guess that makes some sort of sense, but Denver being down there is very wild, but we have Minnesota number one, Memphis still struggling, A, my Portland Trailblazers are dead last here, Utah, Spurs, Pelicans also very much struggling, oh actually Brandon Ingham could be a player that we bring on to the roster, that's a thought for sure, in the east we have the New York Knicks at number one, Boston three, wow Chicago is four, Toronto's in that area as well. The Nets are last. Ooh, Atlanta. Trey Young. You know, Trey Young's name has also been very much thrown around with potentially getting trade in real life. And maybe they'll want to jump on an opportunity of getting some good future assets.
assets to build around. I guess maybe their number one overall pick, Zachary Richie. Oh, actually, man, Lamelo Ball and the Hornets, man. I don't know how realistic it is for Lamelo Ball to maybe ask out, or maybe them just to throw Lamelo Ball out and uh, get some trade assets back for him, getting some more draft capital, maybe build a team around Brandon Miller and whatever future they have left. That could actually be pretty, pretty interesting of a thought. Oh, I like that kind of scenario, actually. Well, taking a look at the Lakers this year, LeBron is carrying the franchise as per usual, with Anthony Davis playing out of his mind as well. Actually, in real life, Anthony Davis has been a very, a very good for this team, and very, very fun to watch. Don't think connect, and everyone else is kind of like they're improving very well, which is nice. Uh, Bronny's already a 70 overall. Don't think it's a 75 overall. I did put them in the G League for a couple of months, so I mean, that's probably why they are improving pretty fast. And as I thought about it, I am just going to keep the team how it is. I know that might be super controversial, me not making a trade, but honestly, nothing realistic really made a whole lot of sense. Like the Hornets are still bad, Trey Young is whatever on the Horn uh, on the Hawks. Zach Levine is still in purgatory in Chicago. I just didn't really think anything that really moved the roster in a really interesting way. Maybe I'll make a move during the offseason. Actually, very surprised here that Kid Cunningham won the most improved player. That's another player that's kind of in the trade rumor mill a lot, but again, just doesn't really make a lot of sense. I think this offseason, though, we're going to make a big splash. Um, look at that, even Trey Young won. All NBA first team, maybe we'll go back and look at the uh, Trey Young trade possibility there. But Anthony Davis and LeBron James did get All NBA first team. There's our other trade prospect in the Mellow Ball. Again, if, if Charlotte can get like a good pick this year, right? I think they would definitely be okay with shipping off injury prone LaMelo Ball. I think, I think, yeah, I think that, make, that makes a lot of sense. Again, we'll see it in the future, but maybe he'll win a championship this year anyway. We are in the play-in, though, so we could actually not even make the playoffs, which would be very embarrassing. The Thunder also the three seed, which is very interesting. They're usually always one and two. Let's see how they're going to get in here. I don't really prefer whatever rank we get. I'm rather facing Minnesota or Dallas. If we do get to Dallas Mavericks in the first round, that is tough. Um, I mean, Austin Reeves is going to have the guard Luka Doncic, and that's going to be a hassle for him. I don't know if we have enough offensive power to keep up with a team like Dallas, but we can see and try. Uh, Boston's 2, Toronto 7. Nothing too crazy here. I actually really like the matchups, but the fact that Chicago is in the playoffs is really weird. And again, the Clippers with no injuries does make some sense, I guess, but we'll see what happens. Right, game one, let's simulate it and see what we got here. First round of the playoffs of our first year, and we do get the dub. Wow, Luka does have a pretty decent game, but LeBron James dropping 30, 6, and 7 is wild. That is awesome from your boy LeBron. Four steals as well. That's that's great to get, to get a win. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, we're going to be going over to game two now. Obviously a loss that makes more sense. Oh, wow, it is a blowout. <gasps> LeBron with 11 points only shot the ball eight times. That is not the LeBron James that I know and love. Only game two. It's whatever. Game three, though. Ah, game three. It's actually a home game for us. We actually stole one on the road. First game in st oh, stables. We lose. Not stables. I guess crypto.com arenas now. What it's called. We also lose game four, four point game. 35 and 10 for LeBron. Again, we just don't have the offensive firepower, especially when Anthony Davis only scores 11 points. Okay, I can I can definitely see where we need to make some roster improvements. Where it's it's 3 1. I guess LeBron has come back from 3 1 before. Can you do it again? No, I cannot. <sighs> I guess LeBron James gets out in the first round again. You know, Austin Reeves, great. You know, that's awesome. He's also going to be a, kind of an untouchable player, but my goodness, even Dalton to Connect, the rookie, couldn't even really do too much for us offensively. He shot really bad, too. Wow, he's like a known shooter. I don't know why he's playing so bad. <sighs> All right, well, you know, we lived, we learned. I definitely should not have done that. I think it maximize LeBron's potential here. I definitely should have made a trade, but again, it just didn't really make a whole lot of logical sense. This offseason, though, I'm just going to try to make the biggest splash I possibly can to bring possibly the biggest star over. We're, we're going to try to make it happen, but let's
simulate the rest of the playoffs here. See, so we got wow, Golden State moves to the conference finals. We have New York and Boston, though, over there in the east. That's a lot of fun. Thunder do make the finals with the Boston Celtics. Wow, I think this is actually a super accurate representation of, well, besides the Warriors making it that far, of the NBA's league uh, in real life. And the Thunder win the championship. Whoa. Sure, I guess that is a possibility. I don't think they would sweep the Boston Celtics, though, but Thunder winning the title is interesting. LeBron. What are you doing on this page? Get off there. <laughs> wow, LeBron was really about to retire. That's crazy. Russell Westbrook is retiring. That's kind of sad. Um, we already did get the, 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 I guess, oh, Derek Rose. We already got the notification that Chris Paul is retiring as well this year. Kyle Lowry is too. Very sad. But wow, LeBron was actually about to hang it up also. <laughs> we have uh, Russell Westbrook here. Not too shabby. We have Westbrook, Lowry, and wow, Clay Thompson's number got retired. That's so random. Clay Thompson didn't retire, though, but his number got retired. Is that a thing that can happen? Can you have your number retired without you, the player, being retired? Oh my god, the Spurs have back-to-back -back top three picks. That's disgusting. Wow, that makes me really want to do a Victor Wimbanyama. NBA 2K Rebuild. Guys, please, if you guys want another NBA 2K Rebuild, I mean, like a series, we can do a Victor Wimbanyama Spurs one. That's insane. Uh, it was really cool seeing Portland get the number one of our pick, though. That's pretty fire. Anyways, let's see how we're going to, you know, really improve this roster and team. So, the foregone conclusion I've come with is two options. Lamella Ball asking out or just getting pushed out of Charlotte to them going full rebuild, billing around Brandon Miller and whatever draft pick they have this year and just really going in on a full new direction. Maybe tired of how Lamella Ball acts or injuries, play style, I don't know. Maybe they just go in a different direction and they get shipped off back to LA where he wants to go probably. Or Kawhi Leonard in his superstar power just wants to, you know, try to go for a title Clippers get some draft capital that they lost a lot of in the SGA Ball George trade. But I think I'm going to go Lamella Ball here. I think it makes a lot more sense. And it even lines up with the future possible for the uh, Lakers. So, and they take it. Awesome. Yeah, Lamella Ball <laughs> going back home. Um, Hornets get a really good draft. Uh, well, actually, two really good draft picks in the future for them. And honestly, I, I like that a lot. I think this actually makes a, a little bit of sense. Obviously, a little bit of fantasy. I don't think this would actually happen in real life, but could be a lot of fun. Maybe they'll even try to tr uh, get Lonzo Ball in free agency. So, starting out our final year, year number two, with LaMelo Ball at point guard now, with Vando at the three, Reyes at the two, LeBron, 80, looking pretty good. We have a almost 80 overall Dalton Kinect. He definitely has shot up his potential a lot. We also got Drummond and Tumani Kamara for some defensive anchors on the perimeter and the interior. Don't know how Tumani Kamara was so cheap in the free agency market, but he was. Even Bronny, a 70, um, a very modest 75 overall. Of course, I'm going to be giving him some minutes now that he's developed pretty well. Um, obviously, you just put your guys in the G League and you give them a little bit of time and minutes in the actual NBA season. They can shoot up pretty high. And overall, like how we've seen from Dalton Connect and Bronny James, um, I have, think I'm going to be simulating to the halfway point of the NBA season, just kind of speeding up this second year, just like I'm showing you guys how we are as a team. And, and seeing LaMelo in a Laker jersey is really fire. So taking a look, we're actually second in the NBA West, um, which I think is actually pretty realistic, having LaMelo Ball and LeBron James on the same team. Obviously, of course, Victor Wimbanyama and a two top three picks in a very loaded draft class are doing very well for their future. Still have Golden State, Denver, Memphis, the Thunder, the defending champs are struggling, which is really weird. Um, Utah is at the bottom of the barrel now. We have the 
last. So again, to Charlotte, going complete rebuild, going all in on this new branding and whatever they're trying to go for. Again, I think it makes a lot of sense. I like it. I like it a lot. I think it works for both teams, and uh, it's looking like both teams are getting what they want. <laughs> Orlando being number one, though, is very interesting. But let's take a look at the stats for our team as well. So with the stat line for our team, the Mellow Ball leading our team in points per game, assist. He's, he's really having a great year, almost shooting 50% from the field, 40% from three. The Mellow Ball back in LA where he probably belongs with the probably uh, a LeVar Ball shouting in his ear at court side is awesome. We have a 94 LeBron uh, retiring at the end of this year. 94 overall, I should say, doing really well. Reeves still balling out with some good defense. Dalton connected. This is now an 81 overall. Obviously, of course, he's not a true 81. He's like a 79 plus two. If you know, you know, NB 2K lingo, you know what that means, a plus two. So these guys are, are doing great. We have offense, defense. We have some good three-point shooting. We have insane ball movement with Lamella Ball and LeBron James now. I, I like this team a lot. LeBron James actually wins the MVP award, which was wild. Cooper Flag wins a uh, rookie of the year for Portland, which is amazing. Uh, again, I just <laughs> please, please in real life, Portland get Cooper Flag. I would be so happy about that. Um, taking a look at the uh, All NBA teams now, LeBron, obviously, of course, All NBA first team. Um, John Morant, Victor Wembanyama, Lamelo Ball. And Anthony Davis get all NBA second team honors, which again this team is it's stacked. I really like how this team came out to be. And so yeah, we are the number one seed. I think we're like tied with Minnesota for like the longest time. And I think we even ended the year tied in record, but I think we won the season series between them, so technically we're the one seed, but really we were like the two seed, so that's pretty funny. What else is really funny? OKC is the 10 seed, which does not make any sense, and Boston also very much struggling. Oh my god, OKC didn't even make the playoffs. Wow, that's wild. We're going against the Kings. Memphis, I mean, like, it's nice. It's nice. We definitely, I think, have the easier side of the bracket, too. Boston barely squeaking into the playoffs as well. New York does, too. Wow, that's crazy. Detroit makes the playoffs. Washington makes the playoffs. Indiana is your one seed. This is already a very crazy simulation. Uh, let's take a look at the King series here. I'm not going to be too worried about them. I don't think they made any new additions. They still have, you know, DeMar and Fox, Sabonis, and we ooh, lose game three, though. Wait a second. There we go. Three, four. Don't, don't drop another one. Yeah, there we go. Beat him in five. Awesome. Wow, LaMelo Ball is a 40-point game, averaging 28 points, 8 assists. Oh my god. LeBron averaging almost 25, 7, and almost 9 rebounds. That is beautiful as well from a retiring, again, retiring LeBron James. That is, that is crazy. And uh, yeah, the rest of the team is looking really good offensively. Defensively, we obviously locked them down. We have Golden State now, wow, beating Memphis again in the playoffs. They've done that before. And this is just the normal Warriors, but now they do not have Draymond Green. <laughs> it's like I read of Draymond and Klay Thompson. That's interesting. And the Spurs also lost in the first round. I guess that's fine. It's their first year in the playoffs. Detroit makes it to the second round, though, in the East. That's wild. Um, Pacers beat New York. That's not going to make a lot of Nick fans very happy. But also Boston <laughs> is not passing either. Wow, we're going to get two new teams in the finals here. We uh, beat the Golden State Warriors pretty closely, actually. LeBron having kind of a stinker game, but hey, that's why we have a guy like LaMelo Ball who can take that offensive load from LeBron. And yeah, the Warriors are just not at that level where they, I think they can really compete with us right now, which is usually the opposite of what people say about the Warriors, but we do drop game four. Um, whoops. Uh, and we went in five. There we go, baby. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Going against Dallas in the conference finals. You have Milwaukee and Indiana. It's still Dame. It's still Giannis. They just have a deeper roster there. That's pretty nice. And for Indy, oh my god, they have Kawhi. Wait, did they trade a Kawhi for Pascal Siakam? That's crazy. Okay, well, good luck. Kawhi, maybe we'll see you in the finals with LeBron, but we gotta get past Dallas first. Winning game number one. Not to worry about Dallas.
else this time around because now we have the offensive power, let alone the defensive power to stop. Hopefully, Luka Doncic, we do. We sweep them. We have Lamella Ball, which, now that I kind of think about it, was getting Lamella Ball kind of overpowered. I actually have no idea. Was that too much of an OP move? I have no idea. We're going up against the, uh, let me show you guys the, uh, the, I guess the, the no cheating rule here. It's still at the, the 50, the 50, uh, difficulty, which is like the normal one. It's always on normal setting. Anyways, going up against Kawhi Leonard and Tyrese Halliburton. And then be finals with the Braun dropping a 40 point NBA Finals game. Let's go. Obviously, LeBron's seeing Kawhi Leonard in the finals. He definitely sees that Spurs jersey on him, wants to get some revenge, but it doesn't matter. We're already up at 3 0. <laughs> and just like that, the Lakers, LeBron James in his final farewell tour, gets a title. Oh, and an MVP. Oh my god, that is insane. Anthony Davis, the finals MVP. No, uh, LeBron James wins a finals MVP, and MVP wins a title in his farewell tour year. I like that. I like that sort of, um, farewell to LeBron James. Now I can try to make these rebuilds as somewhat realistic as possible. Of course, that wasn't the very most realistic rebuild. Obviously, that would never happen in real life, but I like the scenario that kind of played out, and, uh, man, that was actually a lot of fun. I actually really miss kind of doing these 2K rebuilds. It's just kind of up to you guys if we continue doing them or not. If you're a big fan of them, maybe watch this video a couple times over, or I can just giving this video a like really, really helps out a lot, and, uh, yeah, I love you. I love you, love you, love you, love you. And I'll see you again in another video. Video, 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 video. Very, very, very soon. Alright, guys. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.